Ohio State. And um, talk about your senior year. I mean, we all we all know what happened, the injury and everything. Aside from that, I mean, how do you feel about this? Ah, uh, everyone keeps asking that question. Wow. It's it's life. You know what I mean? Um, football it happens. I came back. I knew what I was signing up for. Um, I came back to grow. If I if I got hurt or not, I'm gonna be here another year. Um, I'm not running off the money. Uh, I know many, plenty of people have made it without it. Um, so that that wasn't my first obligation. And I feel like a lot of people do leave for that situation. Um, but you know, I came back. Uh, had a great opportunity. Did some great things. Uh, I got my first passport. Went out to Haiti uh, for a week. Uh, basically changed my life out there. Um, recently got engaged. You know, uh, had my senior year here. You know. Uh, all around, great time. Right, talk about your trip to Haiti. How did that change your life? What did you do? Uh, man, Haiti was just a great experience. You know, you go out there and you feel like you're going to be helping other people. You know, and I felt like those little kids helped me more than anything. Just, uh, just open my eyes on really what's important in life. Um, I think if I didn't, if I didn't make that trip, maybe this, this injury would be a lot worse to me. Um, there's kids out there with no money, no clothes, and they're still happier than we are right here in America. So that definitely gives me something to look back on. Um, but it was a great time out there being with the Mission of Hope. Uh, they're doing great things. Looks like you're keeping a positive attitude. I mean, a torn ACL isn't what it was 10 years ago. For, sure. for sure. You know, this isn't a career ender. It's you know, minor setback. And, yeah. Um, I, I know it's a little early to you know be talking about you know, where this could you know set you back in the draft and all, but you're still a very draftable guy. You know, in the mid rounds. I mean, how long do you think it'll be before you can actually get to practice? I mean, would it? Are you on the timetable where you could possibly start a training camp next summer? Um, cleared uh, mid May, so that'll be six month mark. Um, you know, I'm gonna rehab as hard as I can. I'm in there twice a day, every day. Um, just looking forward to the opportunity. Team gets me, man. They're going to get somebody that's going to be dedicated to working hard. Um, like you said, I might have fallen a little bit in the draft, and that's just going to give me more ammunition to go out there and play as hard as I can. One the day to run? Is that no? To be clear, just to be clear. Clear. full full load. Yeah. 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 Even to get hit if you go to a yeah. Okay. Hey, you're one of the, one of the best route runners in college football. You know, coming back. Uh, who'd you learn from? I mean, what? Um, who are some of the guys you emulate? You know, I do a lot of YouTube searching. Um, Steve Smith, uh, Chad Johnson, you know, they got great footwork, guys that are that about my size. Um, but really just focusing on little things, speed ladder, you know, I think that's definitely helped me out. Um, the timing with the quarterback, we work in endless hours with those guys. So I uh, really just get to feel the whole game and really uh, work on how to, how to get away from the guy. How tough was it to watch the team last couple weeks? You know, it's, this is an Oklahoma team at the end of the year. I, I believe you guys are ranked number one in the nation to yeah. start the yeah. year, and you know, great things are expected. You go down, it, it's, I mean, it's not going to be the same team, but, um, you know, talk about how tough it was watching it, especially last Saturday against Oklahoma State. Yeah, it was real tough, and, you know, uh, you put so much hard work and dedication into it, endless hours, like I said, and it really ends the way you do. We had high expectations. Uh, we knew rankings doesn't mean anything at the beginning of the season anyway. Um, no way through the season we lose to Texas Tech. You know, guys didn't hang their head. Uh, go out there and lose to Baylor. You know, it's like, wow, things are slipping from us. Uh, a few games after that, we win. And then we go on Oklahoma State in a hostile environment. Uh, away games aren't easy, uh, but there's no excuse for the way we played. Uh, but we definitely didn't see the, the end of the season looking the way it is now, but we got to bounce back and win this ball game. What are you able to do physically right now? I mean, you don't have any as far as are you, what, what do you what do you have to do? Uh, I'm on the bike. Uh, I can walk fine but with a little limp. You know, it's still swelling in my knee. It's going down a little bit. Got surgery uh, two Mondays ago, so I'm a week and a half out. Uh, but besides that, you know, uh, it's high hopes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can walk with a limp two weeks after surgery. Yeah, that's what I, I was expecting. I always thought you might be crutching it around. I mean, you look great. I mean, I was I, off my, I well, the, they say, like, back in the day, I don't know how far back in the day, but guys used to get hurt. They went in and got surgery the next day. That sets you back even longer. I waited two weeks. So I got surgery. Worked on my, yeah, worked on my uh, range of motion and things like that. Then I went and got surgery. So my swelling, my, my downside wasn't as bad as I, I waited two weeks after mine. I was around your age. I had it a month. I was still on crutches. 
Uh, really? Obviously, I'm not a professional athlete. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm in the training room uh, maybe two hours at a time, twice a day. So I'm in there getting it in. So now, um, you, you got to see a, probably more than you wanted to see of uh, Robert Griffin. Talk about watching that guy. I mean, what kind of quarterback is he? Man, he's so versatile. Um, his arm strength's got a lot better. His accuracy, you know, he you can kill him. He can kill you with the, his legs, but he definitely showed for himself that his arms just as capable. Closest thing to Vic, maybe. That, that would for be. sure, for sure. Wow. Right, talk about your guy, Landry Jones. You know, coming out. Uh, great competitor, you know. I feel like uh, over the last season, he's really worked on uh, his pocket presence. Uh, just sitting back and having time to sit on the sideline and watch him. I feel like he feels it. He feels himself around the pocket a little bit better than he used to. Um, great arm. Uh, he knows the system. I feel like you throw him in any situation, he'll be able to get it done. Fortunate, do you feel having to? I mean, not a lot of guys in college get to play with two NFL quarterbacks. And Sam Bradford, Landry Jones. Talk about that. Ah, well, I signed up to play at Oklahoma because I knew we were going to have great athletes there, great coaching system as well. Um, you know, it's a blessing. I don't feel like my life would have been panned out any other way, uh, but to be a sooner. Do you, do you feel like Robert is the guy, or do you feel like it's still wide open? You see the best for the player? Heisman? For the Heisman, yeah. I don't really buy it. I feel like it's a lot of politics, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Who do you think's to be real? Who do you think's the best player? Do you, do you think it's open for discussion? I don't want to put my name on any of that. To be honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's, he's good, but they're all good. They're all good, yeah. yeah. Sure. Are you going to be um, in Mobile next month at the Senior Bowl? I know, no. you, can't, I know you can't compete, but no. over there talking to teams? You can save it for it. I'll be there at Combine. All right, good. All right, we'll see you then.